Right, so this is my attempt of making a YouTube video showing how to use the G90 with the G-Sock both on the latest firmwares First thing we do is power on the G90 Okay. There we get the. Oh, I'm all tangled up. We get the G90, uh, or the G Shop Compo USB thing, and plug it into the side. Output. Media, about up, uh, uh, oh, wires, right. uh, and then uh, plug it into the G shock plug it into USB uh, over here I've got a dongle a keyboard with a mouse pad I'll plug that in the other port. Uh, I'm sure we'll bump into each other again in the not too distant future. Oh god, I hate USB. Always, always get it the wrong way. Right, next we'll get with our cable. I'll plug it into the back. On the IQ port of the G90, and then we'll plug the other end onto the back of the G shock on the IQ port. Right, so I've actually came to the conclusion I'm messing about a bit. That the G Shock is getting its audio IQ from the parallel port once this is removed. And I also think the problem we have with the decoding on the G Shock is that the I and Q channels are mixed the wrong way, they should be flipped. And I'll determine that uh, when I make a cable up at one point. Uh, but at the moment, this makes. Um, oh, I've just turned it on, right? So this makes our machine usable. Just booting up. So the display is getting the IQ data from the cable at the back right and the IQ audio as I said is coming from the data key, uh, the, the data port at, behind this right so we can still see the display data and we can control I'm going to find a decent signal and uh, wouldn't you know all the signals I've gone there you go yeah, I've gone the wrong way so there you go No problems with the display, both receiving the same. Right, now with the keyboard, which I'll go and put in my, my lap here, I can, or I'll click, I can, if I see a signal, 
Well, don't see another big one. Maybe this should be a tiny signal here. I can click on it. And as you see, the frequency changes. It's a bit of noise, that's all that is. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you me clicking back. I'm, at, <laughs> I'm doing this wrong. I'm at, I should be looking at the, the screen, but I'm actually looking at the video screen. So that's me just click back. Alright, I was a wee bit out there. So there we go. The machine is usable again. Okay, we've not got the audio uh, processing through the, da uh, the, the COM port cable. So now, now we know what the problem is. The I and Q from there into the back is wrong. That's my thoughts anyway. If somebody wants to make a cable up before I make one up, they're more than welcome to. Okay then. Bye.